It's officially summer and school is out and for many children across the United States this time of year will be filled with fun and adventure. But there is a darker side to summer, the horrors of child neglect and abuse, bringing misery and heartache to many and for some being taken away from their families and being placed into foster care. Some of it has to do with the weather, crazy as that sounds. Um, once you hit no warmer weather, uh, kids start coming in in their short sleeves and their shorts into school and the teachers start to see the bruises and the red marks and the things that were uh, hidden by the winter clothing um, and those are some of the biggest signs of a child who is being abused. According to figures from the non-profit agency Child Help, 3 million reports of child abuse are made every year in the United States. 59% of child abuse cases are simple neglect, but many cases also involve physical or sexual abuse, normally by a member of the child's family. And the estimated annual cost of abuse and neglect stands at over $100 billion. But what exactly does neglect mean? The parent is unable to meet the child's basic needs, able to give them food, a safe place to live or sleep. Um, it can be medical neglect. They're unable to meet the child's medical needs, not bringing them to the doctor um, or, or addressing whatever medical concerns the child may have. Educational neglect. They're not ensuring the child is getting their education, going to school. Um, and a lot of times it's linked with parents who do have substance abuse issues. In a report released by the Child Welfare Information Gateway, part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, it was estimated that as of the end of September 2009, their most recent figures, some 423,000 children across the United States were in foster care. 24% live with family relatives, but 48% live in foster family homes. And nationally, there's a shortage of people able or willing to become foster parents, putting more strain on an already overburdened system. But many are lucky and find a new life and new home uh, with those who become their foster parents. But one of the most difficult things is to become a parent. Uh, offer them love because often they reject it by being, you know, themselves hurt or whatever reason they were removed from their own biological home. And the most difficult thing is to try to, to approach them, show them tenderness and love they just don't trust. And that only takes years. Since 2000, the number of children in foster care in the US has dropped, but despite this improvement, with the lack of people to take on many children, they remain stuck in the system, sometimes for years. And a happy summer with their family is something they can only dream of. Ryan Scott-Smith for ABC News in Connecticut.